back with you in the digital room where uh, before she was at home. JJ learned more about this really cool documentary discovering uh, more about Las Vegas in the 40s that airs this weekend. Here's more. Well, back in 1940, the population of Las Vegas was 8,400 people. It would double very quickly. Our city welcomed several new hotel casinos, the El Rancho, the Flamingo, the last frontier. And with the end of World War II, tourism boomed here in town. Learn all about it in the 1940s new documentary brought to us by the city of Las Vegas. Diane Seabrandt joins me now. She is the Historic Preservation Officer with the City of Las Vegas. Diane, welcome to the show. I am thrilled to see you're putting out another documentary. Hello, thank you for having me. Yes, we're, we're really excited about this one. Uh, it is the fourth in a series of documentaries that are on the City of Las Vegas website. I actually have seen all three. Mm -hmm. uh, I went down quite a deep dive of Vegas history earlier in the year uh, when I was studying up for Women's Month. Fascinating history here in our valley. Tell me all about what happened in the 1940s here in town. So in the 40s, this is really a time of growth for uh, the city of Las Vegas. A lot of that had to do with World War II. Of course, we have the Gunnery Training School brings in a lot of military personnel. Basic Magnesium brings in um, workers to the manufacturing munitions for the, for the war. And then it's moving from not just a downtown expansion, but what we would consider like the suburbs, um, bringing in families, bringing in movie theaters and swimming pools. And also during this time, there were quite a few Hollywood movies that were made here. Uh, Clark Gable, Roy Rogers, and that really also started the, the boom in population here as well. And that is what um, this movie is mainly about, how that growth happened in the 40s. Well, I have to say you've done a great job of putting together the first three, so I'm excited to see this one. Yeah, I think the 40s, you know, obviously we had, uh, it was totally a, a game changer to have the dam uh, open up. Um, in the 30s and then and then in the 40s as as World War II ended you know people wanted to return to leisure and and we offered this amazing spot to do so and you know job opportunity too really started to boost I think it's interesting you know you mentioned the movies and we really did kind of cement our identity as a western kind of that last stop western town at that time too didn't we yeah absolutely but this is also during the the time in the 40s where the city's trying to get away from just focusing on the cowboy theme, that there's casinos, hotels opening up, and, and they're focusing on different things, what would be considered perhaps more um, exotic. Very cool. Um, I love your job title, by the way, a historic preservation officer, and it's really a thrilling city to have that, have that uh, job. You know, there are ways that we can support amazing projects like, the, like this documentary series. By the way, I'd recommend people go to the City of Las Vegas website to watch the first three. Um, they're there for you. And we're going to talk about a screening you have of this uh, new documentary coming up. But how can we support? I believe there's a way to do it with our cars. There is. So there's a very beautiful license plate um, called the Centennial Plate. And it has the Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas sign on it very popular plate. So those plates, the sale and um, of those plates and when you re-register your car, when you um, get your new tags, every time those are sold, we make the, the money for it on the Centennial Commission. So all of those license plates, not only are they really beautiful, but they help support doing several projects that preserve our history. Yes, they do. So anytime you see a license plate with Betty Willis's Las Vegas sign, that goes back to help amazing projects like you're doing. You're having a screening of this new documentary. I believe at the Springs Preserve, you're also going to be airing it on Channel 2. Tell us about that. Right, so the in-person screening is, um, it's a VIP event, it's invite only. It will be airing uh, starting at 7.15, but we'll also show it on uh, KCLV Channel 2, as well as the city's Facebook page, um, Twitter, um, several streaming platforms show it at the same time at 7.15. But you can also watch the first three starting at three o'clock and they'll, everything will be re-shown, re-broadcast on a Sunday. 
Diane Seabrandt, thank you so much for joining us for this moment of Las Vegas history. If you're <laughs> fascinated by the 1940s, maybe you have history, maybe your parents came to town during that era, then check out this new documentary with the city of Las Vegas. Thank you for joining us. Well, I'm